Office is coming dangerously close in 2029, so close you'll actually be able to see it with your own eyes in parts of Europe, Africa, and Asia. Another asteroid has a 1 in 10 chance of hitting Earth in 2095, and what exactly is 2000 SG344? It might not be a real asteroid. Regardless though, it has a chance of slamming into Earth in 2071. These are scary asteroids that could hit Earth in our lifetime. Apophis is the asteroid that frightened a lot of people back in 2004 when it was first discovered. NASA gave it a 2.7% chance of hitting Earth in 2029. It was the first time an asteroid had been given a level 1 on the Torino scale, which is the system used to rate potential asteroid threats. There were even concerns about a possible impact in 2036, but updated tracking ruled both out. Still, Apophis is coming dangerously close. On April 13th, 2029, it'll pass just 19,000 miles from Earth. That's closer than a lot of satellites. People in parts of Europe, Africa, and Asia will actually be able to see it with the naked eye. Scientists are using the flyby as a test run. The European Space Agency is launching a mission to study it up close, and NASA wants to monitor any slight changes in its orbit caused by Earth's gravity. That's because future passes, especially in 2068, could be affected by this one. If Apophis gets nudged just the right way, it could line up for a much worse scenario down the road. So even though we're safe for now, it's staying on the watch list. 2010 RF-12 is a small asteroid. It's only 7 meters or about 23 feet in diameter. It was discovered on September 5th, 2010 by the Mount Lemmon Survey in Arizona. Just three days later, it passed within 79,000 kilometers or about 49,000 miles of Earth, closer than the moon's orbit. There's a 1 in 10 chance that it could collide with Earth on September 6th, 2095. So probably not in a lot of our lifetimes, but if you're a younger folk watching, uh, there is a good chance. If RF-12 were to enter Earth's atmosphere, it's expected to break up in the atmosphere and explode in the sky, kind of like the Chelyabinsk meteor in Russia back in 2013. But that blast shattered windows and sent over a thousand people to the hospital just from glass and debris. RF-12 is in that same size range, so it could do similar damage if it exploded over a populated area. The good news is the odds might change as we get better data on its orbit. Plus, by 2095, we may have left Earth altogether. Asteroid 2000 SG344 is roughly the size of a school bus. It's been on scientists' radar since 2000. There's a 1 in a 1,000 chance it could collide with Earth on September 16th, 2071. If it were to enter Earth's atmosphere, the impact could release energy equivalent to about one megaton of TNT, similar to the Tunguska event in 1908, which just flattened this huge section of the Siberian forest. On thing about this one, some scientists think it might not be a natural asteroid. Its path is so similar to Earth's orbit that it might actually be a leftover rocket booster from one of the old Apollo missions. They're still not 100% sure. It'll pass close again in 2028, which could help scientists figure out exactly what it is and whether it's going to cause problems later down the road. Bennu is one of the scariest asteroids we know about. It's about 16,000 feet wide and was discovered back in 1999. NASA says there's a 1 in 2700 chance it could hit Earth on September 24th, 2182. That's not a huge risk, but it's not nothing either. It's actually one of the highest impact risks they've found so far. If it did hit, it'd be bad. The force of over a billion tons of TNT bad. Just Imagine that in a big city like Tokyo or New York. Yeah, millions would die. Because of that, NASA's been keeping a close eye on it for years. They even sent a spacecraft, OSIRIS-REx, to land on Bennu, grab a piece, and bring it back. That happened in 2023, and scientists have been going over the sample ever since. Turns out Bennu has a bunch of interesting stuff in it, like minerals that hold water. That tells us it's been around a long time, probably came from a bigger asteroid that broke apart. Even though it's not going to hit us anytime soon, Bennu is still being watched constantly. 1979 XB was discovered in 1979. It's huge, nearly 2,300 feet across, which is almost half a mile wide. If something like this ever hit Earth, it wouldn't just take out a city, it would cause mass destruction. There would be 
huge fires, tsunamis, the climate could change. This is the type of asteroid people imagine when they think of an end of the world one. You wouldn't think something this big would go missing, which is why it's so strange and honestly disturbing that we haven't seen it in decades. It was basically lost in space because telescopes at the time couldn't keep a solid lock on its orbit. That's changed a bit with newer tracking systems, but it still hasn't been seen up close again since its original discovery. What we do know is that it's on a path that brings it relatively close to Earth every so often, and its orbit crosses ours, which always makes scientists nervous. Right now, there's no confirmed impact threat in our lifetime, but that could change if it gets nudged by something else in space or if the orbit just slightly shifts. 2023 DW is an asteroid about the size of an Olympic swimming pool. It was spotted on February of 2023. NASA flagged March 14th, 2046 as a possible date of impact. At one point, they gave it a 1 in 560 chance, which is not comforting. Since then, the odds have dropped, but it's still being tracked very closely. If it were to hit, it wouldn't be a planet killer, but it would be bad, definitely enough to take out a city. The force would be similar to a few megatons of TNT. Because it was discovered so recently, scientists haven't had a ton of time to figure out its exact path, which is why it's still listed on the ESA and NASA's risk lists. They're constantly updating the data Data as they watch it move. With any luck, it'll miss us entirely, but it's close enough and soon enough, it's not something they're just brushing off. 2007 VK184 caused a bit of a stir when it first showed up. This one's about 130 meters wide, so roughly the size of a football field and then some. At one point, NASA gave it a 1 in 1800 chance of hitting Earth on June 3rd of 2048. That's not something you ignore. An impact from an asteroid that size could wipe out an entire metro area and cause serious damage around it as well. Shock waves, fires, a massive explosion in the sky, and depending on where it hits, possible tsunamis. For a while, it was high up on NASA's watch list, but as tracking data improved, the risk went down and eventually got removed altogether. That said, it's still flying around out there, and its orbit brings it close to Earth every few decades. So while it's off the worry list for now, it may not be forever. The thing with space rocks like this is that even a tiny nudge from something else like gravity from a nearby planet or another close pass could alter its path just enough to cause trouble later on. 2001 WN5 doesn't get talked about a lot, but it's coming really close in the not so distant future. It's just over 2,600 feet across, way bigger than most of the others we've mentioned. It's expected to pass by Earth in June of 2028, and it's going to come within 155,000 miles. That might sound far, but it's actually way closer than the moon. Close enough that you could possibly see this with binoculars. If it were to hit, we'd be in serious trouble. An object that big could cause destruction on a huge scale. Luckily, it's not expected to collide with us, at least not this time around, but because it's passing so close, scientists are keeping a very close eye on it. It's one of those rare chances to study a big asteroid up close without it, of course, hitting us. The other reason they're paying such close attention is because Earth's gravity might slightly change its orbit during the flyby, and if that happens, future passes could end up a lot more dangerous. Asteroid 2005 ED-224. It was discovered in 2005, and it's estimated to be between 37 and 83 meters in diameter, roughly the size of a plane or maybe a bit bigger. So not the biggest, but an object this size could still cause some serious problems. This asteroid got a bit of attention when it was flagged for future close approaches to Earth, and at one point it was briefly listed on NASA's Century Risk Table, which is a list of asteroids with very low but non-zero possibilities of hitting Earth. NASA and other space agencies are still tracking this asteroid as part of their broader planetary defense because it's relatively small, doesn't pose a global threat like some of the others on this list, but in the unlikely event that it does hit, it could cause a serious disaster depending on where. Asteroid 2024 YR4 showed up on NASA's radar in December of 2024. It's a smaller asteroid, somewhere between 130 and 300 feet wide, not extinction level, but big enough to wreck a city. Early data gave it a 
3.1% chance of hitting Earth in 2032. In asteroid terms, that's unusually high. Scientists started watching it really closely, using every telescope they could point at it. Turns out it's not gonna hit us, at least not in 2032. They've gotten a better idea of its orbit and the odds have dropped, but it's not totally out of the picture. This thing is on a bit of a weird path, and Jupiter's gravity could throw it off course down the line. That's the part scientists are keeping an eye on. And if something changes and it does end up on a collision course, it could do serious damage, depending, of course, where it hits. And with all that said, I've been your host, James. I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.